Well, we don't got my drive shafts. Went to Bucks Auto. It's a junkyard here in the city. Um, I got this from a Grand Cherokee, 1998. <clears throat> Usually with those, you have a 33-inch drive shaft, which would need to be lengthened by 3 inches to fit the X15 in my Jeep. I just look under there for the hell of it. It turns out this one here is 36 inches. From the end to the end. I measure from the end of the yoke to the end of the yoke on the other end because I can't hold the tape measure. So it must have had a V8, a different axle, or in a different transfer case to be that length. It also has a slip yoke. But the one on my Jeep is in much better condition. As well as the universals are much better on mine. So I'm going to switch those out. And I went ahead and got my flywheel resurfaced. It was pretty um, warped lengthwise. I inspected it. There's no cracks anywhere. So the friction disc, or clutch most people call it, is going to bite hard on this one. Great, that was oily. Damn it. Oh, while I'm here, another thing that isn't mentioned on the write-ups is the fact that these holes are not evenly drilled. I, was, I test fitted this on my Jeep to see if I got the correct length bolts, which I did, half inch dash 20 times 1 metric, grade 8. I put it on my Jeep, put a few bolts in, and I realized two holes never lined up. So I thought to myself, oh shit, no, now I gotta get a different flywheel. So I rotated it because I noticed that I got a hole in there for balancing. So I rotated it, still didn't line up, rotated it again nothing, rotated it a third time and they lined up every hole. So these are machined a certain way so it can only fit on one way due to that flywheel lightning. And I think you can tell just by looking at it. The front drive shaft I'm, I got from a, a 1990 Cherokee. All U-joints and everything are good but I'm going to put my U-joints in because they're brand new and heavy duty. So, until further news, I'll talk to you later.